what up guys this is Pastor Canal again we're coming out with another video in JavaScript and today we're going to be creating a user input uh, for uh, employee directory application so which is going to be really cool okay we're going to be using um, if statements uh, a little bit adjacent uh, yeah so let's build our application okay cool so let's start let's I already got my tag so we're going to create a, a empty uh, object right here employee equals open a curly bracket and then we have another uh, variable it's going to be first name equals to prom prom and then we're going to do first name first name right here then we're going to create the if statement if um, it first name is not first name if you know first name so that's not true if there is no first name we're going to say console console that log and we're going to say the following invalid invalid first name okay and then semicolon and then we're going to use that empty object right here employee as a placeholder employee that that first name a equals first name okay then we have another variable right here we're going to do the same thing for the last name last last name A equals to prone and right here is going to say enter I mean last name last name and then it's going to be the same thing if the admission sign if exclamation admission that's called in Spanish exclamation sign exclamation sign if last if last name open close it and braces on the console that log and right here we're going to say invalid last name okay then after that we're going to have we're going to use employee that last name equals last name semicolon and right here we're going to use uh, we're going to create another variable we're going to say let start the year start the year equals to prompt and right here we're going to say employee and start there employee start year we want to add a year 1990 between that to 2023 semicolon and then right here we're going to use that variable start the year equals I'm going to set it number number 
number start date year okay and now we're going to so see we're going to check if no exclamation point or sign number that is in the year Say start year day. Okay, so it should be just inside. I don't know why it's, this is outside. Okay, semicolon. Let's not forget that. <coughs> Are you no know number that is integer? Start date. Start date year. Okay, now we're going to say console. Oh no, we don't need semicolon. What I'm thinking. I'm so tired. Console.log. Right here, we're going to say enter a body start date. Enter a body, a body to start. A body, enter a body start day year. Okay. Okay. Right here, we to do. Um. Say check if number is in range. Okay. Right here we're going to say if start date year less nineteen ninety or Start the year greater twenty twenty three. We are going to do the following. Console dialog, and here we're going to say enter. What I mean, what I am. Okay, enter a start day, enter a start day year within the correct range. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta do another one. Create another variable. We're gonna say let start date month equals prompt and here we're going to say employee start date month. Just to be from one to twelve. Okay. Okay, okay. And I want to use that variable. Month equals to number. We're casting that, and we want to use a start month, date month. Okay, semicolon, and then if we're going to keep checking right here, if we start the 
late month. Less than one or start. date month greater than 12 I'm going to say console uh, so we're creating the date start create the year start date equals number start date month okay I'm just going through really quick uh okay and the if um let's see where I start it okay so this is a little bit wrong so let me just get rid of this for a sec yeah so she wasn't no adding right here um if if no number that is integer a number is integer start date month right is that correct yes that's correct on the right here one say console that log console that log enter body start date month enter a ballot start date Okay, so now in here, right here we are going to use if, another if statement, we start date month less than one or start date month greater than 12 I'll just say console the log enter start date month with Enter a start date month the month within the correct range. Cause I did a year before month okay month okay month this is year and we and now this is month until body start date month okay so, month Okay, a uh, year. Can I just check in my code really quick? So making sure that everything is good. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Um, now let's just do date. Okay. Let let the start date day equals to prom. employee start date day one thirty first thirty one okay and the semicolon then we do a start, same thing, equals number, start date date. We start date date, okay. If you know, let's copy this line of code right here, and then we're going to change it. If no number, let's start date, 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 yeah. Let me change it, enter a valid to start date. Day. Okay. Now, if we're going to use that, copy that if system so to make a save some time. If we start day less than one, we start. Day, day, thirty first or thirty one. And so start day with him, start there. Day, let's change that. Day within the correct range. Okay. And right here, we're going to be using employee. that is active is active equals is active equals to yes semicolon and right here we're going to say output employee We're going to create a JSON format right here. Cons JSON equals JSON that a string of a string a string a string file string file and then we're going to say employee comma null comma two. And then we have console that log um on the same employee dollar sign and then we right here want to say JSON. With the past that JSON right there. Semicolon, let's save it. We don't want to buy that. Um, so let's see what we got. Okay. 
I'm going to save it. And let's go check to our browser and see. First time, let's just say Pastor. Whoa, it didn't give me anything. Okay. So there is something going on. Let's just check the code. Let's check the code really quick. And see. Okay. Something is wrong because uh let's see. First name console log first name invalid first first name okay and then we get employee the first name equal first name okay then we got la let last name equals prom last name okay invalid Anybody last name, okay. Then we have employee that last name equals last name. Oh yeah, right here we we're missing. I think that's my issue. Uh, hopefully that's the only one. It was a typo. Let's go back. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Okay. Well, it was part of the issue, right? It start date year, prompt, employee start year, 1990, 2023. Okay, start date year, number start date year, okay? If no number is integer start date year, Enter, enter a valid start date year. Okay, so so far this is good. So now next block of code is in range. Start date year. Less or greater than 2020. 2023 start date year within. The correct reg okay this is good now let the start date month from 112 so the month number start date month okay the start date month start what is start date month okay this is good too A start date a start date month less than one a start date month greater than twelve enter a start date month within the correct range okay just checking let the start date prompt okay start date start date number number start date date if no number that is integer start date date okay because the lock enter a valid start date day okay and then we have a start date day less than one or a start date day greater than 31 console enter a start date day within the correct range okay correct range right here so this is good. So I'm missing something. Yeah, that's why. That's what I'm missing. Let me just copy this line of code right here. Copy so we can save some time. So I have that. And also I'm missing a block of code right here. Um after that. Okay, yeah, I was missing the the another variable is is active because we're we're using the active right here. Yeah, sorry, I'm just a little bit tired because I have my notes right here. 
and it's just kind of like you know we're using this active because pro it's employee active yes or no yeah you're going to say that if if it's active no equal to yes and active no equal to no it's going to say enter yes or no for employee active status and right here when the view see that is active equals yes right and then this should fix the issue let's save it let's go back and it should work if this doesn't work 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 we are screw <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. Um, let's see. Why doesn't like? Oh, yeah, okay. That's what I'm missing right here. First name, first name. Oh, man. Let's go back. Where is the first name? I cannot believe I first I am missing the first one. Yeah, right here. What the heck, man? What the heck, man? Okay. Oh, right here. Let's just say Pastor. Last name Canayo. Let's close this for a minute. Let's cancel this. Let's just do it again. First name, okay. Pastor. First name is Canayo. Start employee start years. Let's let's put 1990. <laughs> and the date of the month. Let's just do three, which is going to be March what day let's do the 25th okay employees active ah i think so let's just do yes yeah okay so now let's inspect over here in our console and then right here so this is the format the json format that we have right employee right uh pastor first name last name canayo start day uh yeah 1990 right and then uh, it's active it's true yes what about if we just change it if we say it's not active let's just do another one let's just say pedro pedro garcia um 2022 let's let's do january when did you start on the third? It's active? No. Yeah, see? I like it says Pedro. Pedro Garcia 2022. It started on the first. Active is false, which is not. Alright, guys, that was pretty much it for this user input. Uh, getting a JSON formatted employee for this application so all right thank you for checking the video hopefully this helped you out and i will see you next okay bye